Iga Sviontek versus Karolina Mukova is a final for the French Open for the ladies for 2023. And both players have had to fight to get to the final. Mukova entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Sakari, the number eight seed in the first round. And after a close first set, Mukova would win in straights 7-6, 7-5. In the second round, she'd take on Podoroska. And after getting bageled in the second set, she'd take it out in three, 6-3, six, three, love 6-6-3. Six, six, in the third round, she'd take on this 27 seed, Bagu. And again, an easy win for Mukova, getting through in straights 6-3, six, 6-2. Six, in the fourth round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Avanesian, who had beaten Benchic along the way. But this was no problem for Mukova, getting through in straights, 6-4, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mukova will take on fellow unseeded player, Pavlia Chenkova, who had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. However, Mukova was too strong, getting through in straights, 7-5, 6-2, to advance to another semifinal at a slam. In the semifinals, Mukova will take on the number two seed, Sabalenka, who hadn't lost a set all week. Mukova would win the last five games to take the match, 7-6, 6-7, 7-5, to get to her first Grand Slam final. Iga Sviontek started the tournament off as a number one seed and defending champion and would take on Buxer in the first round. And after a close first set, would get through in straights, 6-4, six, 6-love. Six, in the second round, she'd take on Lou. And again, after a shaky first set, Sviontek got it together in the second, 6-4, six, 6-love. Six, in the third round, she'd take on Wong, who'd taken out Buzkova, the 31 seed, along the way. And this was by far Sviontek's best performance, getting a double bagel, 6-love, six, 6-love, six, love, and showing everybody why she's the number one and the best player on the planet. In the fourth round, she'd take on Sharon who had taken out Krajikova and Andrescu in straight sets along the way. But unfortunately, Sharenko was sick and couldn't finish the match, with Sviontek winning 5-1 retirement to make it to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sviontek would take on the number six, Goff, who she'd already played six times before with relative ease. And, uh, and although Goff put up a fight, the same story happened, with Sviontek winning in straights, 6-4, 6-2 to get to another semi-final of the French. In the semi-finals, Fiontek would take on the dangerous Hadaj Meyer, who had just taken out Jabur in the quarterfinals. And after an easy first set, Fiontek would have to fight to win 6-2, 7-6 to get to another French Open final. These two have only played the one time before. That was on a clay court in Prague four years ago with Mukova getting the win. But we all know Fiontek in 2019 was not the same player she is in 2023, but it will give Mukova a little bit of confidence due to it being a clay court clash. If Mukova's going to win this one, she needs to use the variety. Come to the net, use those volleys, hit the big shots from the baseline like she did against Sabalenka. The variety might frustrate Sviontek. If Sviontek's going to win this one, she needs to make Mukova move. Coming to the net as well might be something that Sviontek might want to try as well. Pushing Mukova off the court will be the key to getting this one. This is such a fun final because Sviontek, of course, we expect to be here every single time, but Mukova having a very good run, and it's very, very dangerous, but I'm going to go with Sviontek in three sets. I think Mukova might be able to get a set because she is very, very talented, and she might be able to use that variation, but Sviontek's a problem solver, and I think she'll solve this problem and win in three, get another French Open to her name, but let me know down in the comments below who's winning the French Open this year.